drawing supplies. 18 by 24 drawing pad. This comes in a variety of manufacturers. Strathmore, Canson, recycled paper is great too. This is newsprint, 18 by 24 showing scale. Newsprint is simply recycled newspaper. Great for practice sessions and drawing. Couple of other sketchbook examples in terms of scale. Here's 11 by 14. I try to keep the sketchbooks a little bit smaller scale that can easily fit into a backpack. When it comes to graphite, you are going to pick up a range of graphite. So there are H grade graphite and it ranges from 2H, 3H, 4H up to 12H. And you have a drawing assignment to review some of the media and materials. So you do want to pick up H's and B's. B's also range from B2 up to B12. So you will pick up at least two different H grade pencils and two B pencils along the way. This is woodless graphite. I love woodless graphite. It's a favorite. And these are quite literally a one big piece of graphite encased in plastic. And we'll talk about different techniques for each of these media and I will also do demonstrations along the way. Standard number two pencils and mechanical pencils are wonderful drawing tools as well. A sharpener of some form. These are excellent. These small little metal sharpeners often come with kits and it's your choice. You just want something that you can keep your graphite and pencils sharpened along the way. Charcoal, vine or willow charcoal. That's quite literally charred wood. So willow branches and part of your presentation and homework, you'll, you will see where willow and vine charcoal is derived from. They're, there are even how to create your own willow and vine charcoal pieces. So at an art supply store, they often come in pairs or little packages. And we will definitely explore the differences in these charcoal mediums. You'll also need compressed charcoal. These are thin sticks. They're a little bit easier to control. So Generals is a manufacturer. You'll often see these in either pairs or fours at like a Michaels or Hobby Lobby or Easel, etc. If you want to pick up white charcoal or Conte or other color charcoal or Conte, those are options. Conte is compressed charcoal with a waxy binder. And again, part of your reading, you will learn about the history of Conte. It's a little bit more expensive because of the wax binder. It really sticks to the surface, creates really nice clean lines. There are also Conte pencils, a world of drawing tools that are out there. And anything that's optional on your list of supplies is optional. When it comes to pastel, I prefer those thinner sticks and they have a whole range of pastels that are out there. And those master touch pastels are great. They're not that expensive. So again, a lot of different brands of pastels. There's Low Cornell, Faber Castle. New pastel is really nice too, the Prismacolor brand has some really nice saturated pastels. Rembrandts are pretty expensive, but they have a really beautiful saturation of color too. So again, a world of pastels. And when we get to talking about working with color and drawing, we'll talk about all of the different properties of pastel, different applications and techniques. Eraser, a kneaded eraser. These come square. They come in a variety of scales. The beauty of this is that you can mold these kneaded erasers. They're fairly self-cleaning. So if you are working on 
corrections or creating effects in a large scale drawing. You can mold a kneaded eraser over your thumb and work into really large areas, or you can even create a small little point to work with for erasing. Erasers are drawing tools. They're not simply used for corrections. You can create a lot of really cool effects with your erasers. Other erasers that are out there, these polymer erasers are nice, Pentel, Stettler. I picked up these at Daiso recently, and these are awesome. A friend of mine gave me this little mechanical eraser from Daiso, and even just those little small erasers are great for working in little details along the way. A world of erasers as well. Blenders. If you want to purchase blenders, and these are also recycled newspaper, you know, you have that option and we will be discussing blending techniques in this course. We'll talk about using your hands as a form of blender and there are pros and cons to that. Some people, myself included, I've taken old t-shirts and cut those apart and you can use these as blending tools in both drawing and painting. Some people will use paper towels or Kleenex, even sandpaper. Files can be used to create different textures and effects. We'll definitely be exploring blending tools in this course. When it comes to the materials for ink, you just need one small container of ink. You don't have to get anything really large scale. I did find this at Daiso as well for $2.50, I believe. And those of you that are exploring other media, there's a world of inks and that will be discussed. A stick, quite literally, Mother Nature providing us free art supplies. Chopsticks are great to use for drawing tools. I've done some figure drawing with chopsticks. Bamboo quill pens. And these are options too. I just wanted to show you what these materials are. So bamboo quill pens are quite literally carved out of bamboo. I really love these tools. I feel like that there is a pretty seamless flow across the surface when you're working with them. Other optional pens. Stettler brand is really great. Microns are really awesome too. These are, have been go-tos for years. Yes, you can create masterful drawings with just a big pen as well, which is kind of nice. You do need a fine point brush. So this is showing kind of the scale here. You don't want something too wide. This would be too wide. So something that you have some control with. And with a little bit harder bristle, Usually acrylic or oil-based brushes have harder tips, harder bristles. Something soft like a watercolor brush has its own quality too. But something fine point, you see that on your list, that's suggested. You can even make your own drawing tools out of duck or geese feathers. We'll talk about this when we get to working with inks and washes, liquid media. Some students even prefer to buy those metal tipped pens. So optional, optional. You've got a lot of options in terms of materials. When we start working with color, you could work with colored pencils, watercolor pencils, from Crayola to Prismacolor, Derwent, so many brands of colored pencils to work with. You might even explore watercolor along the way. We do have assignments in here working with open media. And so we do open it up to any type of media that you want to explore. Drawing two and advanced students certainly will be exploring a variety of media. With drawing one, we start with graphite. Then we segue into charcoal and inks or liquid media. We also talk about other alternative drawing tools and processes. There are a lot of water soluble products that are out there now, which is really exciting. Pick up your supplies. All you need is some graphite, a sketchbook, possibly a, a sharpener to start this semester. Good luck. Look forward to working with you.